At some point, the cameras will go away. The news cycle will move on to something that gets better ratings. But for this small community, this isn't over. Families are still displaced from their homes and children are missing school. These folks don't just get to move on to the next thing. It is our job today to get answers for them, not to play politics at their expense. Now, I, I know this happened in my district, so it's personal to me. I acknowledge that, but it could have happened in any of my colleagues' districts. Mm -hmm. A House subcommittee is holding a hearing this morning on the environmental response to the train derailment that caused a toxic chemical spill in East Palestine, Ohio, back on February 3rd. The hearing comes as many schools are pulling out of sporting events over fears of lingering health risks that may be linked to that chemical spill. Joining me now is Dwayne Pathkovich. Uh, he's the athletic director at East Palestine City Schools. Dwayne, thanks so much for, for joining us this morning. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me, Mark. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was boots on the ground there in East Palestine for two weeks, and I witnessed some of it for myself. I know it's a long recovery for your community, and I'm so sorry. Um, can you first talk more about how the train derailment has impacted East Palestine's high school sports in particular? Well, if we go back to um, right after the, the train derailment, our, uh, our girls basketball program uh, had earned the right to have a home uh, playoff game, OHSA home playoff game. Um, you know, there were concerns um, that were risen by uh, a, our opponent. Um, you know, back and forth things went. OHSA finally made a ruling um, that, you know, the game would be to be played in East Palestine, uh, an OHSA play, uh, girls playoff game. Uh, the, the school um, that we were supposed to play decided uh, they would forfeit the game, then uh, come down and yep, and participate in in the event here uh, in East Palestine. And you know, I understand. I mean, everybody has concerns, and you know, I, I'm very respectful of you know parents and in the decisions that they make that uh, they feel is in the best interest of of their kids. And, you know, Dwayne, I was in the Detroit airport and there was an East Palestine gymnastics team there. And I was speaking with one of the mothers and she said that y'all were supposed to host a gymnastics meet. And so many teams, individual competitors and their parents were pulling out of it because they didn't feel safe there. Um, you must be getting stories like that every day. Are people also asking you not to come play, you know, at their campus and their schools? Well, for you know, first off, I mean, yeah, our, uh, we try to do a lot with our youth sports programs, um, you know, on top of our high school programs here in the district because we're all all we're all the same community, um, and, and you know, we we hosted a plethora of JO uh, volleyball, uh, youth basketball, uh, anything youth wise. Uh, we had youth wrestling. We had to cancel those events, um, you know, because of some some of the fears. Uh, but you know, time does time does heal wounds um you know with that being said you know we've seen a, a an uptick i mean as we go into spring sports uh historically east palestine has a uh a very strong uh invitational schedule uh, we host four uh historic invitationals some mm -hmm. invitationals that have been going on since uh the mid 70s um you know we typically have between 25 and 30 schools that attend these meets on a, on a yearly basis each one of the four um and you know this year if you look back five weeks ago we had uh single digits number of school i think the highest like seven we have recovered some like i said time heals right heals when, you say, wounds. Uh, when you say time heals all wounds i can't help but think we just have a few seconds left i can't help but think of the seniors you know time heals all wounds but they don't get these seasons back you know some of these athletes need these seasons for potential college scholarships how are the seniors in particular holding up through this you know, my heart goes out to if you think about it. I mean, they had uh, their freshman year was upended by COVID. Um, you know, they didn't have a, a freshman season. Uh, one young lady, um, you know, Maya Lee is a uh, is a two time state track qualifier. Um, you know, there were some stresses for her. Um, you know, obviously trying to get back to state um, for the third straight year. She probably been a four time uh, state qualifier in track if. You know, if we didn't have the COVID season, um, yeah, I mean, opportunity is, is what we're here for. You know, our, our our charge is to create as much normalcy and create opportunities, you know, for all our students as possible as in, in dealing with this, you know, 
unique situation. Yeah, it's just been um, just terrible, just devastating for your community. Dwayne Pavkovich, uh, Athletic director, director at East Palestine City Schools, thank you so much, and uh, we're wishing you well, sir. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.